Robert is in the house. What's happening, man? Look, Moroni. How's it going, my man? Tough Shamano. How's it all going? Hey, Tough, I think we've got something new for the next week. I'll call you after this. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about it. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, Nicole. Nicole is in the house. Thank you so much for tuning in, my love. I always enjoy it when you guys are up and, uh, you know, ready for the lunch and learn. And obviously, just... Um, for our first time viewers, uh, my name is Prosper Tarowinga and um, obviously <laughs> love the building up beat. Oh, thank you so much. And Tyler, thank you so much. I haven't seen you in a while for a while. Uh, Robert, thank you so much, my man. Um, Stephen Kelly. Oh, Stephen is in the house. Thank you so much. All right, everybody else is just tuning in. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Prosper Tarowinga and I believe that every online business should be profitable and enjoyable. And if you're running a business right now, you should be coining in a lot of profit. You should be enjoying whatever the heck that you're doing right this moment. And I applaud you for every uh, single moment that you wake up and you're doing things just to make yourself feel, do, and be better. All right, Ansley, how's it going, my love? Hey, I've got a fedora for you. As soon as you book a call with me, we'll make that happen. Steven Seedan, thank you so much for tuning in, my man. All right. And I also believe that for you to enjoy what you're doing, you should be able to create for and relate to those that you're going to be demanding money off of. So if you're not putting out content out there, if you don't have any assets that people can get to know you, like you, and trust you, then obviously maybe we need to have a talk, all right? So every single day we sit around here for 30 minutes where I teach a simple four-step uh, process that's designed um, you know, for small to medium businesses like yourself to, first of all, package your services, brand them, market them, and so that you can have a business that's enjoyable and you can profit from it. I leave a, a lead. <laughs> Where's my words? I lead a team um, at Live Long Digital here where we help small businesses like yourself to grow essentially through digital marketing strategies, all right? So that's why every single day at 2 p.m. AST, we sit here for 30 minutes and we discuss how we can actually help you earn more money with less struggle. So we'll help you generate all the leads, all the revenue, and you will be actually working with us um, on your PR and your branding 24 seven. Walter, what's happening, my man? Thank you so much. Uh, you see me, I keep pushing. Well, obviously I've got a mandate, I've got work to do. And because of the topic that we're gonna be talking about today, um, it's gonna be amazing. We're talking about personal branding. All right, we're talking about branding you, the brand called you. How many of you guys watching in the audience right now are proud of what their brand represents? Them personally, not the business that you claim to be running. How many of you guys are actually proud of what Google has to say um, about you, about your work, about your past? Because if you're an entrepreneur, you don't need a resume. If you're an entrepreneur, you're not gonna need to have LinkedIn telling us what jobs you've worked for before. We need LinkedIn to tell us what you do for us. All right? All right? Have you got things that are set up so that if you start talking to me today, if I look you up, I am actually sold by your previous work. What is your personal branding saying right now? Because you are who Google says you are. So if you're not pushing out content, if you are not deliberately helping Google understand what you provide, who you do it for, and why people should care, I think you're leaving a lot of money on the table. A lot of us really, really hide behind the banner of our brands. All right, we never stop talking about what we do. We never stop talking about who we are. We never connect with people. All right, so at the end of the day, if your LinkedIn is not designed into a sales letter, if your um, you know, Facebook is not selling or is not telling people how you help them and why they should care, then I think you should revisit those two channels and actually see if you are representing yourself in the best kind of way. Because building a personal brand 
is an essential part of marketing and developing your business, all right? Look at people like uh, Russell Brunson. You know him as the virgin guy, all right? But how many businesses have offshooted off his own personal brand? Some of them, we don't know about them. Some of them, we never hear about them, all right? But we know about him as the person. We know about Jeff Bezos. We know about Mark Zuckerberg. He owns all these other small companies, but we know him as a brand. Are you doing anything for your prospective clients to actually know who you are, to actually get to know what you do, to actually get to understand how you can help them? Because people don't care what you know, brother. People don't care what you know, sister. People care what you can do for them. Now, are you the right kind of person to help me with this pain that I have? Your personal brand should tell me that instead of you saying, look at me, look at me, look at me. Capiche? All right. Walter says, yeah, man, I'm sharing this to my wall. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Walter. And um, yeah, if there's anything I can also do for you, don't hesitate to ex explore that that um, um that option, all right? So this is what you're doing. Every single day you're waking up, you're trying to let the world know what you're doing. It is the image that you're showcasing to the world. Who are you? Why should people care to listen from you and get that particular service or product from you while Sally down the road can do exactly the same thing at exactly the same time, even cheaper, better, faster? Why should people listen to Walter? Why should people listen to Prosper? Why should people listen to Tav? Why should people listen to Ansley? All right? So you're nurturing a strong personal brand. You make sure that your customers and your future prospects actually recognize who you are and associate your business um, in a positive man manner. How many times have you ever heard of a person and then you just instantly start enjoying yourself because that person represents positivity in their life? And how many times have you heard somebody's name and you cringe and you're like, I don't want to hear about them because of what their personal brand is portraying out there. All right. We are all just evidence, avatars that are meeting each other online or, 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 or in person. But are we the right representative of who we actually are as a person? Do you know what I mean? Because people buy from people. People buy from the next person. Gone are the days where just having a logo or just having some sort of a, um, um, you know, some sort of online presence was going to make you very distinct from, you know, the next, um, you know, uh, maybe real estate agent or the next marketer out there. You have to be building an audience, nurturing that audience in order to sell to those people because people like buying stuff we enjoy purchasing but the next minute somebody says can i help you with that you're like no i'm just browsing that happens all the time doesn't it when we are going out shopping all right so essentially it is you know when you're branding yourself you're comprising of proper marketing and also public relations you become an expert in whatever it is that you're doing so that you are the go-to person some people maybe don't want to be known that they're the people doing that. But if people don't know you, how are they going to make purchases from you? If people don't know you, how are they going to recommend you to other people that you can help? Now, honestly, say it's why blend in when you can stand out, be the point of difference that people will want to buy from you instead. Absolutely. All right. This is what's happening now. Back in the time, everybody was taught to fit in. Everybody was taught to be a cog within a machine. All right. Those days are over. Now you actually get paid to stand out. You actually get paid to think differently. All right. Look at what Apple did. They came in. The, the market for computers was already flooded, but they came in with the, with the, with the movement of think differently. And as soon as you start thinking differently, as soon as you start going against the grain, you have now created what is now become your own personal brand. What are you known for? What would people talk about at a barbecue when they are t discussing things that you have done or you can do for them to those that they love? Chantel, how's it going? I can't wait to see you on Friday. All right. So you want to be showing the world your authenticity, who you actually are. Because it's just like looking for a job. 
You know what I mean? You just like, it's just like you're looking for a job. If you pretend and you lie that you know certain things, sooner or later you'll be caught out. If you go in and you pretend you are this smart dressing person on your interview and then three days down the line you show up with your pajamas, do you think they won't fire you? It's pretty much the same that happens in the online space or when you're building your own business. Who you are should, you, you should exude your brand. Stop trying to assume something that you're not because you can't keep up with that and you won't be able to keep up with whatever competition you strike as. So I'm going to be giving you a few reasons why personal branding is actually really important and the reason why you're actually watching this video at exactly the same time, exactly every single day, that also is part of my branding. What have you got that people cannot get anywhere else? You need to expand on that. Just like all the fingers in my hand right now, no finger is the same height. So why would you build all that you're building, um, do all the work that you're doing just so that you could fit in? It's about time you, you bring and show us what you made of. Because everybody in the world is out here to live. We're here to learn. And we're here to contribute. A lot of us don't even know how to live. A few of us are learning. The majority is not contributing. So if you want to stand out, if you want to make so much money in 2018, you got to start working on brand called you. Can somebody, can everybody else who's watching this, just type in your name in the comments and I'll show you something unique about your name as we go along. Whatever you are doing, your life story and your experience have greater market value than you could ever possibly dream of. You're here to make a difference. Bersha, how's it going, my brother? All right. Yes, and Chantal says, love it. Let your um, outside represent your inside. Taf says, Tafire Nika. Tafire Nika. <laughs> I was going to go mental on this one. But Tafire Nika is as unique in as much as you're representing a country or, or you, you die for a cause. So given your attitude, given your, you, you know, um, like when we're working together, you are always making sure you leave no stone unturned. Now, that's exactly what your name means. And that's exactly what it is that you're doing, showing and, you know, and, 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 and reflecting your name there. All right. And, and, and I appreciate how, how you show up to work because you never leave anything unturned. Your emotional labor is, 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 is much appreciated, my friend. Ansley. Ansley. Okay. So your name is A I N S L I E. What is it that you sell? Real quick. Show me what you sell and, um, what is it that you actually do? And I'll show you something real different. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your name is a seven step process for whatever you do and I want to show you real quick how you can brand yourself and be so different um, you know so different from anybody else on the market honestly tell me real quick what do you do and who do you do it for because then I want to create a seven step process one two three four five six seven let's go let's go I want to I want to I want to show you how every person's name can actually come out to become a brand that they can utilize that nobody else has out there all right okay because it's really really essential and it's really really you know important that you use that to grow your own business thank you so much justin for tuning in i think it was howard um i think it was howard schultz i think former ceo of starbucks he says that in an ever-changing society um what else does he say somebody help me the most powerful and enduring brands they're built from the heart. So if it's something that is specifically unique to you that nobody else has on the market there, that is what your personal brand is. Honestly, tell me what it is that you do so that I give you a seven step process to actually get results for your customers there. All right, Justin, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, you need to define who you are. Everybody else is taken. All right, <laughs> everyone else is taken. Defining your personal brand is vital so that people understand who you are as an entrepreneur. Now, Ansley says we help people achieve health and wellness 
um, by connecting them with people, products, and services. All right, cool stuff. Cool stuff. So you can give what is called the Ansley seven-step process to health and wellness, all right? And when people are, uh, want health and wellness, they are not aware of what's actually happening. So the first letter of your name, Ansley, is aware, all right? You give them the awareness of what it is that they're actually doing, all right? And then the I is the information needed now that they are aware of what they are doing. Okay, and then the N um, is health and networks. So these are the the N can be um, say the non negotiables. All right, what are the things that they have to do in order to actually achieve their goals? The S is probably maybe the steps that they now need to 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 take. You see where I'm going with this? You use your name and create a six step, seven step process that nobody else has that is unique to your brand, unique to your services. All right. And then the L maybe should be, um, I don't know what, what else, what else is there? The love that they should start having for themselves, the love for the environment, the love for the people around them. The I can be, and then the E is probably, um, what are their emotions and what are they going through so that they get to understand themselves? Russ George, did he say, Ugo? All right. So did you see what I just did with your with your um, with your name there, Ansley? Even even though it doesn't quite make sense, but I think you're getting the point. You look at your name, segment it, and then you create a seven step process, a six step process to self-love and, and self-care. And maybe we can always continue with that. So every one of us has a name that can be used to define what they do, who they help, and whatever frustrations people might have. Does that, does that sort of make sense to how unique every single one of us is? So in, instead of you just becoming that generic person, you can actually use either your first name or your last name and create a brand that nobody else has, different steps that achieve a goal that you have, um, you know, that only you can provide. Now, honestly, you can go anywhere else online right now. You can never Google the honestly seven-step process to health and wellness. I don't think it's there. So that will make you so different from everybody else out there. All right. Cool story. Thank you so much if you appreciated that. And I want you to share this video. So you want to show your mission, your goals and your message because every one of those things is unique, is different. You stop competing with people online. And Steven says Howard Schultz was a legend. He went uh, to Japan and they told him you need to unbrand the cops because the locals don't like the logo. He fired them and he printed it double side. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, you know, and Steven, you also can do the Kelly process. I don't think anybody else out there has it. All right. So it is what differentiates you from others. And the very reason why people will tend to you instead of the competition, because you have what they cannot get anywhere else. So the first logical step is to actually determine what your brand actually is. And should you create a brand profile that has actually a brand character? And then you embody that. Now, like what we just did with Ansley there, I mean, obviously it was off the cuff, but if you actually put your mind, your body and soul into what I'm talking about, you will actually get something that represents your brand. Now, nobody else has that. And you got that from me. No one else is doing that on the internet. All right. So when I start telling you that you really have a whole lot, your life story and your, you know, your, your expertise have so much value, you know, have so much value than you could ever put out there in the market. So Kelly, Kelly, uh, Stephen Kelly, let me know what it is that you do. And then maybe, maybe we can try and pull it out like that. Cause then you, you do marketing, right? All right, so Kelly will be K-E-L-L-Y. So maybe, first of all, you can give them a four-step, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Kelly, Stephen Kelly, yours is a five-step process. So the first one is knowledge. Basically, you want to know where they've been, the awareness of where they've been, what they're doing, et cetera, et cetera. The E is maybe what, um, oh, 
what uh what what is it that you do? Let me let me let me know how how we can we can put this out there, you know? Because at the end of the day, every single one of your letters would represent a five-step process that nobody else has. And guess what you do with that five-step process? You can use that to write PDFs. You can use that to start creating videos. You can use that to create, um, you know, a flow chat like this that you can only you have. So once you start creating a personal brand on that on that level, so it's online marketing and consulting. Okay, so this is basically the same stuff that I do. First K is knowledge. The second E is maybe um, education. All right, or uh, because we're here to we're here to to to, to educate people and um, you know put people. I mean put people in, in 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 some sort of way. So your E is engage. All right. So the knowledge first of where their business is, and then the E is engage, and then the L can be, uh, hmm, I don't know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, somebody, <laughs> somebody help me out there, but, but you see where I'm going with this, right? And also, yes, Ainsley says entertain, it depends on what the business really is, but then you can, you can use every part of your name to actually build a brand character, a brand process that no one else has out there. All right. Now you start determining. Yes. Longevity is also a really good one. Thank you so much. Equip that is amazing. Every one of you guys is coming up. Now you're getting the flow of what I'm talking about, right? So you determine your brand according to the industry and, and you know, the desired areas of expansion. And you're, you put out your strengths, your weaknesses, and your custom base where nobody else can compete with you. The thing, the thing is, the thing is, no, every, yes, um, Anthony is pointing out legacy. Legacy can also, yeah, legacy can also be something else as well there. Everyone's, <laughs> shit, shit. <laughs> Thank you so much. Shungu Patsi, guys, you say, Mweta Om Chitu Moresa, man. And it's Mweta Om Chitu Moresa. Anyway, you stay true to yourself. Do you know what I mean? Once you've developed that personal brand, like what we've just done with Kelly and, and Ansley there, you stay true to yourself because now you, you, you are only representing your own particular brand. You're representing your own mission. It's a reflection of your beliefs, your values, your goals, and then you become authentic. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's supposed to go hand in hand with whatever company's ideologies that you might have and what your character actually stands for in business. At the end of the day, we are all just trying not to be somebody else, but we've been carrying these names for as long as we've been born. So it's now about you. Can you imagine when you're invited to a speaking engagement and then they'll be saying, hi, we now welcome onto the uh, stage Stephen Kelly, the founder um, of the Kelly process. You now start getting speaking engagement and events. You know what I mean? Your personal brand becomes an essential tool and it comes, you know, first of all, representing your business in speaking engagement and events because no one can compete with you once you have personalized your business to that level. I haven't done it with my business because, well, obviously I'm still working on it. But if you notice everything of mine is called the, 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 the online prosperity blueprint. We've got the online prosperity show. Um, we've got everything is just prosperity. Live long and prosper my digital company. Because everyone is trying to be different out there. But eventually we end up doing the same thing. But if you personalize your brand so much as putting your name into it and your name actually, your name actually meaning something, I don't think anyone can touch you. I don't think anyone can, 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 can compete with you there. And can you imagine your personal brand on social media? Because all you're doing is, is, is you're just blooming. Everybody's now liking and sharing your content. You know why? Because it, it, they can't find it anywhere else. You no longer compete with anyone. So how many of you guys are actually going to be using this method in carrying forward their, um, in, uh, their personal branding? Can you just type in yes so that I'll, I'll be on the lookout? And if you need help with this, I know you can't get this anywhere else. 
be a, be a spot. Just book a meeting with me. Type in the words coffee and I'll send you through a um a copy. Um, I mean, I mean, a link to my uh, coffee chats, and then we can actually really organize it and, and, and make it look properly like that. You know, because at the end of the day, this is what we are looking for. This is this is the uniqueness that people are actually searching. You know. All right. So if this has touched a nerve or something else, share it with somebody you actually actually tag at least three people that you think are going to find this video beneficial. Because once you go personal in on that kind of level, because we are no longer creating, we are not creating um, Fortune 500 companies. These are businesses that belong to us. You, me, Chantel, Ansley, tough. Why not use what we actually have right now to make it relatable to what we're doing? And guess what? Once you really, 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 um, I mean, once you really, really, really start utilizing this um, sort of method to, 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 to put out your brand, guess what happens? People start seeking you out. People start really lo looking out for you because they can't get this anywhere else in the world. Honestly, we could always get a virtual chat on Zoom or on Skype. All right? This is how you reach a big audience. This is how you engage them in order to spark their interest in what you have to offer. And once you, you have personalized your brand like this and, and actually put it out there to say, you know what, this is, this is who I am and this is what I stand for, you won't be competing with anyone. Everybody else on the market is competing on price. Are you the cheapest person in health and wellness? No. I'm the creator of the Ansley process. What are you talking about? You know, and then you intrigue them because they've never heard about it. And it's unique and it's, 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 it's personal. It's, it's about you. It shows that you have done it for years. You put in some thought to it instead of you just coming up with a cookie cutter process. People are tired of that. And now you understand why you need to be watching this show every single time because we are putting out cutting edge tip, um, you know, tricks out there that nobody else in the market has ever heard of. And I really appreciate you guys for tuning in today. All right. So once you've created that, you now have social media presence. You now just need to monitor and engage with your customers and then educate them because they cannot get that information anywhere else. Because you're the only person that has that process. And thank you so much, Robert. You know? Can you imagine the press trying to find you out because they've never heard of it? You're the only person that's got the seven-step honestly process in the whole wide world. Who are they going to ask if they need questions about it? Only you, right? And guess what? Once you actually put your personal brand like that, it equals honesty. Because you can't lie to people, can you, after that? You can't put your name on the line. That then creates that whole authenticity that we're looking for. Because your personal brand is your way, you know, to actually establish an honest relationship with your, with your followers, with your prospects. People are tired of being duped. People are tired of one-click wonders, you know? So therefore, it is actually essential that you don't try to be someone or something that you're not. Once you've created your own process, all you're doing is just growing in that process and teaching people how to use it and how to become it. Obviously, you become true to yourself. You become and having a, 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 a straight and trust, uh, you know, a, 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 and transparent brand. It actually gets you to earn because people do business that, with people they know, like and trust. Right. You know, so. And people get comfortable reaching out to you because you are the only person they can get that information from. That overshoots your authority 500,000 times. And I bet you somebody out there is probably going to want to sell this, you know, tactic for a thousand dollars. Please show me if somebody's trying to do that. Because they don't have integrity. Because integrity is one of the main aspects that your brand should actually really, really have in order to get loyalty from your audience. All right. So this is what I had for you guys today. And please share this video. You know.
I could have been mean. I could have been saying, you know what? I'm not going to tell people this and then I'm going to start charging for this. At the end of the day, it's not going to benefit me if nobody else is using it. So if you've used it or if you want any other confirmation of how to actually use this process, let's have a chat. It's a free chat. I'll just, I'll just figure out how else I can help you. Because your personal brand is the most important asset for you getting your name out there. You know what I mean? So you're showcasing your business, you're showcasing your products and your services and you're building associations and brands. So it becomes your main tool to actually define your mission, to actually define your goals and you stay true to who you are as an entrepreneur. So you, 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 you make use of various marketing strategies because just this part that I've told you is only the beginning. Now can you imagine what you'd have to pay for if I'm giving you so much value on a show like this. Do you know what I mean? So there's various marketing strategies to actually get your personal brand known to the public. You start earning more followers and you grow your business. I want you guys to do well. I really want everybody else to be profitable and to actually enjoy what they're doing out there. You know why? Because I actually want to inspire you to do things that inspire you. Let's get on a call. Let's chat. Let's see what your personal brand should look like. Do you know what I mean? I really, really am rooting for your success. And if this has been the best show ever, please just type it in so that the people that are going to watch in post-production would actually know that we dropped a lot of value on this show today. All right. In the meantime, go on and enjoy the rest of your day. I appreciate you. I appreciate everything that you're going to be building after today because you've earned it. Thank you so much for your time today.